Looming layoffs at Twitter 14 hours from now, half of the company's workers could be out of a job. Reuters reports that is the deadline employees were given in an email that went out to staff today. And that memo also said the offices will be closed and all badge access suspended. Quote, to help ensure the safety of each employee as well as Twitter systems and customer data. Bloomberg reports new Twitter boss Elon Musk plans to let 3,700 workers go to cut costs. And those who still have jobs tomorrow won't be able to work from home anymore. Now, nearby business owners aren't happy to learn many people will be losing their jobs. But as KPIX 5's Max Darrow reports, they're hopeful Twitter's return to the office will give them a boost. The effects of Elon Musk's Twitter takeover won't just impact the people who work at Twitter and the people who use the social media platform. Here in San Francisco, they will also extend out into the surrounding neighborhood. As Catherine Chow preps a hot bowl of udon at her restaurant Kagawaya, massive changes are happening about 100 yards away at Twitter HQ. She's uneasy about one of those changes, but she's hopeful another will be good for her restaurant. It's not great that they're laying off people. You know, I would never want anyone to lose their jobs. However, if they're going to do some management changes and require people to come back to work, and, um, you know, even part-time, you know, that's great. Come have lunch with us. Musk reportedly plans to have Twitter employees return to the office. Prior to him taking over, employees were able to work completely remotely. Chow says even if people only came back two to three days a week, it would give her about a 50% boost in business. And on top of that, she says more foot traffic will make an immediate impact on the struggling neighborhood. So if they require people to come back, then more people will um, visit bars and restaurants like myself. A little bit of activation on the streets would help all of us. I like to use what is in the season. Crispy Lupino's Natalini Flowers is just a few doors down from Twitter. She's looking forward to seeing new faces in her flower shop. I believe I can, uh, we were going to have a lot of walk-ins. With employees back in the office and walking around the neighborhood, more the people goals. will pass by her shop, which is easy to wander into. They pass by and they saw the flower, they stop at the flower. Like many of her neighbors, she knows change can be hard. When uh, we, have, or we were hit by COVID, there were changes. She hopes anyone going through it can try and stay positive. Sometimes it might be a blessing. Then you will see windows of opportunity. Thank you. It's a mixed bag of emotions for Chow. The changes at Twitter will mean the beginning of a new tough chapter for many people. But this may help her close the curtain a bit on a tough chapter for her restaurant. It's really sad that they're going through these times because nobody wants to feel like, you know, their job is on the line. But if they are required to come back, I'm all for it. In San Francisco, Max Darrow, KPIX 5.